Hey everybody, um, so excited. Uh, this is a very special day for us and it a is. special podcast and a special live chat. <laughs> um, found out today, Feel Better Fast and Make It Last made the Christian Book Association's bestseller list. Yay. That's awesome. And... Uh, we have some very special news for you. But first, one of the reviews from the Brain Warriors Way podcast. I really appreciate how Tana has shared her personal story. I Aww. can really relate and appreciate the inspiration. I love the work you are both putting out to the world. Thank you. Keep up the amazing work. Well, so thank you. We love when you leave reviews. It's our... Uh, payment, if you will. Yeah. Uh, it makes us happy. It really is. And so, but today we have a very special announcement. Uh, Tana Amon, wife of Daniel Amon, <laughs> mother of <laughs> Chloe, uh, is getting her second degree Kempo black belt. She is a very dangerous person. <laughs> she, I mean, if I ever thought I'd be rude to her, I've just like, put that aside <laughs> um but i just i couldn't be more proud of you thank you i'm super excited so i just turned 50 one of my did goals, you really i did oh my god yeah i didn't know that yeah so i turned 50 on the first and one of my goals um was always i told myself that i was going to be healthier at 50 than i was in my 40s and the truth is, is it started off a little rocky. I was a little worried because <laughs> things, things towards that 49 mark started to, I felt like we're going sort of the wrong way. Um, I had surgery and then, then just a bunch of my neck, I hurt my neck and my back. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is like getting more challenging. But true to the warrior mentality, if you've read Brain Warrior's Way, and like this woman says, I've shared my story. It's like when things um, start to get really hard, and you always say the best way to get me to do something is tell me I can't. There's that little bit of just a fighter in me. and um, It's also called oppositional yes. defiant disorder. Yeah, but if you channel it correctly, <laughs> so if you channel it correctly, it can be very powerful. So, um, so yeah, so when I started to really not feel well, I, I mean, I started to like slow down and then all of a sudden I went, nope, nope, not going to happen. So I started to really fight it. And so what I want to really leave you guys with, um, I love the expression, a white belt is just, I mean, a black belt is just a white belt who never quit. And so really, I mean, so many times in this process of getting my black belt, I'm going to relate this to your health. Um, so many times in the process of getting my black belt, I was told you can't practice because First, it was my heart rate because of the uh, medication I take for the thyroid cancer. Then it was my back. I have scoliosis. There were all these reasons why I couldn't practice. And initially, I would listen and, to it. And hitting things makes your spine and there's, worse. And my favorite line in Creed is when he says, he sees, he sees Creed hitting the bags because he's really mad about something. And he goes, well, it's a lot less expensive than seeing a shrink. Well, that's how I, sorry. But that's how I feel about it. Like, it's so fun to just go hit stuff. There's like this huge endorphin release. So I love it. I love it I've so much. I've actually never had that. Oh, I love it so much. I can't even tell you what it feels like to just go hit stuff and kick stuff. And it's just like, Ugh. So anyways. I'm grateful you don't do it to me. Yeah, no. You got to do it <laughs> Do it to the right. Do it in a very safe environment. It's just so fun. So what are some of... But let me, let me finish what I was going to say. Okay. About, so, so I started to feel like I was going downhill. And I'm like, no, this can't happen. So what I want to tell you, going into the new year, everyone does this whole new year, new you thing. And I'm turning 50. I turned 50. And I decided, okay, I know the Brain Warriors way. I wrote, I wrote about it. But now it's time to really like step back and think about it like the people who read our stuff, right? What do we tell them? Get your numbers checked. Go get assessed, right? And so I started doing that like from ground zero. <laughs> I started having everything assessed. And so... So for people who don't remember, right. so it's mastery. How do right. you develop mastery? over your brain and your body and your life and it starts with mindset right so you have to have the mindset of a warrior right. which is armed prepared and aware right and so your mindset is right and then the a is assessment just like you just said and so i'm going and i'm getting you know these assessments and one thing i want to add is you you should have a good trainer so master white is my well so S is sustenance and T is training. Right. And so you always say you don't start 
on you don't fight start day. training on fight day. You have to train and be prepared for fight day way in advance. Because if you start training on fight day, you're going to lose, right? So I have I have an amazing um, instructor, Master Bob White. He's just awesome. And you should have someone that that you trust that guides you. It's a physician or a mentor or someone that you trust to help lead you on this journey, to help you get well. And so we think of getting well as you need to have a warrior mindset. And that's what we want you to start thinking about. So in this assessment process, like I started thinking about all the things I was concerned about and I just started getting them assessed one by one, check it off, right? Time to get a colonoscopy, I'm 50, right? Time to get all my blood work redone, time to get all of this stuff done, my thyroid, all of this stuff, um, my neck and my back. Now I still practice, even though I was told because my neck and my back don't do it anymore. Right. But you make adjustments. So I'm willing to make the adjustments and I never had the, the idea of getting my black belt in mind because I was told, okay, well, you're probably never going to be able to practice like that. And all of a sudden enough time went by and I realized my master came to me and he said, it's time for you to test. I'm like, what? Wait, I was just doing it for the journey. I was literally and truly enjoying the journey. And that's what I think that we try to tell people is Really focus on the day, the journey, enjoying the moment, um, and being the best you can each day, and you'll be surprised at what you can accomplish. So white belt that never... Quits. Quit. Right. Because if you see some of the beasts I train with, like, I'm not, I'm not one of them, right? But, but I just show up. I give my best every time I go in, and I always tell myself... You know, when I walk in that door, I'm going to leave it on the mat. I'm going to leave whatever I have on the mat today. I'm going to give my best, whatever it is. And if you just think that way every day in life, what can you accomplish? What can you get done? So. And E is essence. So it's sort of like why. Mm -hmm. We Pain talk about all the time. Um, R is responsibility because it's not about you. It's about generations of you and why it's years long. Um, now, I know I just wrote a book called Feel Better Fast and Make It Last, because that's what everybody wants. Nobody wants to feel better slowly. Mm -hmm. But um, the, the Brain Warrior's way is forever. Right. It's, it's you never stop. And yes, you're going to fail or you're going to have a hard yeah, I don't like, time. Yeah, I don't like the word fail. You're going to fall. But, but get up. But you just turn around. I was somewhere um, recently, I think for public television, and I was raising money for public television. We were talking about if you want to keep your brain healthy or rescue it if it's headed to the dark place, you have to turn around. Right. So if you're going to the dark place, right, if things aren't working for you, you've fallen off right. the wagon, if you will, the wagon to brain health, turn around. Right. Right. So many See, people, yeah. when they make a mistake or they get into a bad rut, they go, oh, well, I've fallen. So I'm just going to stay here. So I'm just going to stay on the ground. What the freak is that? And <laughs> we have a new grandbaby, right. Haven, who's almost six months old. And when you put her on the floor, she moves her feet. Right. Oh, it's the cutest thing you've ever seen. She literally looks like a little, like one of those little wind up things you put in water. <laughs> she looks like she's so funny because she wants to go so bad. And so when she starts to walk, which is going to be soon, sort of like her mother, um, she is going to fall over and over and over and again. And when you practice martial arts, you fall over and over and over again. So you got to learn how to do it safely. You only fail when you don't get up. That's it. You're so intense. You don't get to be a second degree black belt without being intense. Wow. So for those of you who don't know, she's a very, very dangerous woman. And <laughs> I'm she actually not a only protector. has a black belt in I'm... Taekwondo, she's now got her in her second degree black belt in Kempo. And it's because she shows up on a regular basis. So if you're struggling, the issue is don't quit, show up. And the more and you fall, the more experience you have in getting up. So get your mindset right, assess your brain, with know your important numbers, scans completely help. We'll talk more about that. Um, sustenance, food is just absolutely critical. Now, when I first did Change Your Brain, Change Your Body, we started the first class 
December. 1st. Yeah. See, yeah, I want we to talk started about this. it December first, yes. the week of Christmas. The average weight loss was two point five pounds. I love that. Mm -hmm. There's no rule you have to get fat. Not only no hallways. rule, it's irritating to me. So this is like, it's like, what is this cycle that we do? This like, this really self-defeating cycle. I just want you to stop and think about it for a minute. And I've done it. I did it for years before I changed my lifestyle. Okay. What is that self-defeating cycle every year? Okay. I'm going to stop taking care of myself starting in October right? Halloween. With Halloween. Stop taking care of myself. I'm just going to like give up because I know it's going to be too hard. Too hard. What? Aren't you so glad that the warriors that like defend us, our police officers, our soldiers don't give up when it gets hard? So you don't give up. And so just because it's hard. So that you give up, you eat terrible, you stop sleeping well, time change, travel, all this stuff happens, the stress of the holidays, you gain a bunch of weight. Most people start to feel really lousy about themselves and physically lousy, more heart attacks on Christmas day than any other day of the year. That should tell you something right there. So we, we go through this process, the self-defeating process, and then we do, oh, just kidding. New year, new you. <laughs> what is that? It's insane. It's insane. It's insanity. So stop that. You got to train all year. That does not mean you can't have fun. That's why in the cookbook, there are like over 20, there are like 25 desserts and like treats and things like that. Healthy things you can have that and make you feel. And the cookbook actually did really good last week. So I'm very happy. The right. The holidays. Wave. It always does well cookbook. during the holidays. And you know what I tell people? And the, lo the longer I do this, the, the more I begin to understand you are a habitual creature. You will do what your you brain to. has done. Right. And... In the Brain Warriors Way cookbook, you just have to find 20 recipes, and there are what, over 100 recipes. You only have to find 20 so recipes you love that love you back. And there, there's a whole holiday guide on how to do holidays, not only in a healthy way with all the healthy recipes, but if you go somewhere and you are going to have a bite of something, don't sabotage your entire plan. You know, there's a whole way to like make so the holidays So we're going to talk work. more about that coming up. But um, for those of you watching, listening, um, Santana, a congratulations <laughs> note. I'm so proud of her, and I want you to be proud of her, too. Stay with and us. I want to say thank you to all of the people who have mentored me and helped me along the way. It's been quite the journey, and you don't do it without having a team of people. You must have a community to help you through. So thank you, Master Bob White, Barbara White, and just so many people that have helped me along the way. Use the code PODCAST10 to get a 10% discount on a full evaluation at amenclinics.com or on our supplements at brainmdhealth.com. Thank you for listening to the Brain Warriors Way podcast. Go to iTunes and leave a review and you'll automatically be entered into a drawing to get a free signed copy of the Brain Warriors Way and the Brain Warriors Way cookbook we give away every month.